Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. For today's video we'll be showing you how to make this salmon stewed recipe served with rice. Now basically we took some salmon steaks and we fried them and then cooked them in a nice stew mix. So it has tomatoes in it, green onions, pepper, just a really nice flavorful and savory dish. So if you'd like to see how to make this salmon stew then please keep on watching. So as always, we're gonna start off with the ingredients that you need for this recipe. So of course, you're going to need some flour to fry your fish. You'll need one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, one cup of vegetable oil to fry your fish, a quarter cup of green seasoning, half a cup of chopped onions, four cloves of grated garlic, one tablespoon of grated ginger, two tomatoes chopped finely, third of a cup of green onions, six to seven hot peppers, two tablespoons of tomato sauce, and one cube of vegetable bouillon mix, as well as your salmon. So we have eight slices of salmon here. You can use any type of fish you want for this recipe, but we decided to go with salmon. So before we use our stew to put into our fish, we're going to first fry the fish. So you're gonna take that one cup of vegetable oil and you're going to put it into a pan and let that heat up so that you can fry your fish. You can also use a deep fryer if you have one. So we're just coating the salmon in some flour and beforehand we did put some black pepper and salt on the salmon just so it has a little bit of flavor before we do anything else with it. And you're just gonna coat it in the flour and drop it straight into the pan. And then you're gonna keep an eye on it and then you're gonna flip it. So as you can see here we're flipping it and it has that nice golden brown color. You can flip it more quickly if you want it to have just a, a light coating of brownness on it. We wanted it to be nice and charred so that's why we let it go for a little while. So once you're finished you're just going to take it out and put it into a bowl with paper towel just so that you could seep up the excess oil. So this is what your fish should look like once you finish frying them all. And then we're gonna go on and start the stew. So you're gonna take some of that leftover oil from the fish because it has so much flavor and you're going to use that to start combining things to make the stew. Speaking of which, we're gonna start putting our stew together. So the tomatoes go in first, so that's our chopped tomatoes. Your onions will also go in, your green onions as well, and we're just going to use half because we're gonna take the other half of the green onions and garnish it. We're also taking that tomato sauce and adding that straight in as well. You're also going to be adding in your green seasoning or any other seasonings that you're going to add into the stew. You'll also be adding in the grated garlic and grated ginger. You'll also add in the black pepper and you're going to add in half as well because we want to leave some black pepper and some salt aside just so that you can add to taste in the event that it needs more salt or black pepper. You'll also be adding in your hot peppers now. We use some of these round hot peppers they're not that hot, but they add a lot of flavor and a nice kick to it. You can use different types of peppers or you can leave it without pepper. It's entirely up to you. And we're just adding the salt as well. And last but certainly not least, we have our vegetable bouillon mix. And this is in a cube form. As you can see, you could just mash it up and put it straight into the mixture. And what it does really is just add another kick of flavor. It's an all-purpose mix. So now as you can see here, we have added in our stew mix and you're just going to make sure you got all of that in there and you're gonna start mixing it around until everything is submerged with one another. So you're just going to mix it around real nice and just like get it all mixed together and then you're gonna let it sit on its own. So you're gonna let it sit for a little while, just keep an eye on it and it should look something like this. So it's going to look like a very thick sauce because of the tomato sauce so you're going to add some water into it and you're not going to add too much water because we don't want to dilute all of those flavors you're then going to cover it with a lid for a little while and then when you come back it's going to be a nice stew so it's not going to be too thick it also won't be too thin at this point you can start mashing up your peppers if you'd like or you can leave them whole we're now adding in our salmon so this is when you add the salmon in, it's usually at the end when the stew is almost complete because you don't want the salmon to overcook as it's already cooked. So you're just going to move them around and then just let them sit in the stew. And we're just adding on the green onions as a nice garnish on top. 
And this is a really simple stew that you can use with any type of meat. We've used it here with salmon, but it can also work really well with things like shrimp. So this is what the salmon steak looks like. So we took one out for you and plated it with rice, just plain rice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos every single week and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever we upload. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and thanks for watching.